you see how this information could be valuable to your government. Continue. Come on, come on. Mega on alarm station. Alarm's neutralized. You're in. Sector 3, security. Beta here. I'm in, level 2. How long on video? I'm in position. We'll have picture in 30. Sector 5, secured. Sector 6, secured. Please advise. Proceed. I'm through. Inserting camera. We're online. Target A at 9 o'clock, Quicksilver 2 o'clock. Roger, Alpha, Delta, verify your target. Terminate A, Quicksilver's to be taken alive. Go on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two. Bet you're all glad you're up. I just had time to hear about Roger's blind date oh, last please. night. Huh? So how about it? Well, they found the body, but they're still searching for a pulse. Just finish that? <laughs> you asshole. So let's go. Oh, this is great. You get yourself some clothes on. And you hold it right there, pal. What a night. You two cranked up on PCP and this guy's a fucking cop. You no cop. Not anymore. You go on now and go home. He's a low-life private dick. You, you shut up.
scissors. Why are you always fucking with me? Why are you always busting your parole? Don't. You ain't worth a dime to me. So I'd rather shoot you. <laughs> Tiny, let's go. Okay, man. Let me just finish this line. I pay good money for this shit. I said, Tiny, let's go. Better get an ambulance out here. Roger, on the way. You better get him to detox. You're a real humanitarian, Elmo. We'll take it from here, old man. Hey, kid, I want to follow this one in. What, are you scared we're going to lose your lunch money here? Lunch money, huh? He's a hell of a bounty, you know. Yeah, yeah, he looks real uh, top shelf. Come on, pal. Hey, Halleck. I'll do something about that diaper rash, huh? What are you giving him now? Pentothal, morphine, LSD. Look, I don't want this guy dying on us before we get a chance to make him talk. I don't want him to wake up too early either. Don't concern yourself. He'll be asleep for a long time. <laughs>
Yeah, this is bus 12. Come in. Is he alive? Barely. We've got to get him to a hospital fast. Get my cuffs back to me, too. Vital. Diastolic's 50. I can't get an axillary pulse. Labs? Yes, sir. Once you see if Epi Bull is stat, let's get these chains off him. Where'd you find him? Middle of nowhere. Found him on the road. Why? Who are you? Detective Bill Jackson, Bunko. Any ID on him? Not a thing. His clothes were so torn and ripped he didn't even have pockets. What do you figure with those chains? You've been a big help. If I need you, I'll call you, buddy. Thanks. For each detective agency. Yo, Mo, it's me. Elmo, you owe 50 bucks on your PI renewal, your car registration is due, and the landlord wants to do me for last month's rent. Great. All I gotta worry about is the PI license in the car. Mo, just brought in Wheeler. Yeah, call the bond company, get him to issue a check. Pay the rent, the registration, the PI license. And Mo, pay yourself. Fine. Mo, wait, wait. Yeah? I'm in the hospital. They just wheeled in a guy. Black, 30s, hands and feet shackled. Almost beat to death. They found him on the highway. Check the wire. I don't know, jailbreak, furlough violation. Something like that. I didn't get too far with that phony detective routine. Might be good bounty in. I'm on it. Please break the seals on your files. The first photograph is Gert Reichmann, an Austrian intel broker with no patriotic ties. He goes where the money is. The second photograph is a field man designate Quicksilver. Reichmann specifically requested Quicksilver by his birth name. Reichman felt that he had uncovered a rogue faction in the community. 53 hours ago, Reichman and his family were sanctioned. Each one double tapped to the back of his head. Quicksilver is missing and hasn't surfaced to report to his section chief, Robert Trankley. Do you think he's turned? The pretext of this briefing is to deliberate the facts and quickly formulate a course of action. Clearance is restricted to this room. All reports, all suggested actions will be communicated directly to Deputy Director Weldon and Robert Trankler through secured means. Thank you very much. Hey, Mo, did you hear any more about that? Nada. I think I'm going to go down to the hospital. I'm going to take his prints. Who's going to run him for you? Joey, Joey will run him for me, won't he? Good night. Good night, Mo. Thanks. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Detective Paul Curin, missing persons. The uh, John Doe you brought in this afternoon, the one with the chains on. How's he doing? He's in pretty bad shape. He hasn't regained consciousness. You have to check with Dr. Samuelson in the morning. Oh, okay. Is he still in room 218? Check. 315. Thanks. I'll check with the doctor in the morning. Okay.
South Wing security come in? Go ahead. Notify LAPD we have a situation here. You woke up this morning. You remember anything? Like where'd you get those chains, maybe? Who are you? I'm Almo Freach. I'm the guy who threw your tooth fairy out the window. Thanks. What are you doing in my room? Freach, I heard the police talking about you this morning. Really? You want to make me chief? No, I said you were a pain in the ass. Listen. This is a guy that tried to make you eat the bullet. Last night. You remember him? I wouldn't know myself in the mirror. I ran your prints. You ran my prints? Thought you might be wanted. Plus, I thought there might be a buck in it for me. <laughs> what are you? I'm a skip tracer and a PI. What did you find? You're a ghost. So is the guy that tried to kill you. Officially, neither one of you exist. That's not good. So if I were you, I'd get the hell out of here now. And go where? I don't know. I'll figure that out while I'm driving. Come on. Hey, pal. I ain't going anywhere with you until I find out who I am. Fine. Fucking die, then. Just tell him what he asks for. Nothing more. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's in the bathroom. Doesn't work like that. Somebody's always standing and watch. Hey, stupid. It's a setup. Excuse me. You don't come with me now. Your next stop is Toe Tag City. You got me? I think I kind of stick out. No, I think you look great. Come on. Couch folds out to a bed. You can sleep there. You sure you're not some kind of serial killer that puts up strangers and kills them in their sleep? No, I'm a multiple contusion groupie. What's your name? I don't know. Where do you live? I don't know that either. Well, why don't you get some sleep and maybe the clouds apart in the morning, huh? Hey, pal. Make it quick, would you? Quick. Mr. Secretary, I'd like to introduce you to Deputy Director Carl Weldon. Mr. Secretary? Hello. This is Robert Trankler, Section Chief of the Benelux in Austria. Sir. I've been briefed as to the incident in France. Who wants to pick it up from there? We've had cleanup teams tracing Quicksilver's last moves. We believe he's back in the States. Any proof? No, sir. No one's eyeballed him yet. Theories. Quicksilver sanctioned Reichland. 
A, because Reichman unknowingly uncovered an operation involving Quicksilver. B, Reichman was aware of Quicksilver's involvement and was blackmailing him with it. Or C, an attempt to sanction both Quicksilver and Reichman was made by a faction yet uncovered by our investigation. In any case, what does Quicksilver do once he gets back to the States or wherever he goes? Anything he wants. Come again? Sir, Quicksilver has been degaused. The man has no identity. He has no file, no fingerprints on record, no family. Do we do that? No. Quicksilver's an exceptional case. Five years ago, he was on assignment that completely fell apart. An assassination attempt was made, which he survived. Something of a miracle. He took a shotgun blast at point-blank range. For the record, we let him die, leaving us, for all intents and purposes, with an operative who doesn't exist. This one was mine, sir. He was especially well-trained. Suited to do just about anything. So after two years of therapy, he came back to us. Totally interchangeable. All right, what's next? He probably feels that he's in danger. When he senses that he's safe, he'll come back to us. Unless, of course, he's turned. Thanks for the clothes. No problem. Hey, I remember something. What's that? Coffee not supposed to taste like this. That's cute. I like that. You know what bothers me? All the drugs they found in your system. Why the hell didn't they just kill you? I was probably next on your list. My right hand, Marine Peak. Marine, this is shit. Pleasure. Call me Mo. Got to come up with a name for you. Yo, Mo, say hello to John Portland. Portland? Another inch, you would have been Puget Sound. John Portland, it is. Hey, Mo, what do I got in the calendar today? Zippo. So you up for a little healing? What do you got in mind? So, you ready for a little work? Sure, I gotta pay my bill off somehow. Sam Trinidad. Jump bail. Real nosebleed. Also cousin to Vinnie Milan. Vinnie Milan, who is he? Low end organized crime, big in drug traffic. Got all the money and headlines. Nobody wants to kiss him on both cheeks. When I was a cop, I busted one of his goons. He was out and back home before my shift was finished. Emma, why'd you leave the cops? 
I've got a little scuffle with my LT. Well, tell him the rest of the story. Go on. Wait till you hear this. I was a second grade detective working narcotics. We are going in on a big bus. Lots of bad guys, lots of guns. Lots of guns. Go on. Department issue was a 38 caliber revolver. My LT was strict on policy. I was strict on coming home alive, so I carried a 9 millimeter Beretta. As it was, I needed every bit of it. Shooting came down righteous. I got hung out to dry and... Hung out to dry. <sighs> and? And my lieutenant slapped me with 14 days, so I slapped him with 15 stitches, okay? Tough break. The department figures it's best I resign. Well, you didn't tell him the best part. What's that, Mo? The 9 millimeter is now standard issue. Here. Don't you think he skipped town by now? Nah. He's not the sharpest pencil in the box, you know. Come on, partner. Grab your little lady and hit the dance floor. Yeah! Bartender, shove a sneak. Same. Girl. Cheers. <coughs> real, real party ball there, kid. I need to drink that shit. I want to go talk to the manager and break that. Watch this, please. Where's the restroom? What the hell? Maybe spill my beer. Sorry. You made me spill my beer on Renata. I'm really sorry it won't happen again. Come on now, let's do the quick step. Renata's got a stain on her shirt now. It sure cost me ten bucks. Now it's gonna cost you ten bucks. Hey, my partner has my money. I'll be right back. Don't you walk away from me! <laughs> <laughs> I remember something. Oh, yeah? What's that? I can't fight. What do you think? Hmm. Any line in Trinidad? Yeah, pool hall. I know the place. We'll go there tomorrow. Any idea where you learn how to fight like that? 
No, but I must have trained pretty hard. You sure I'm not military? Of course I'm sure. Unless your military and civilian records got lost, and that's kind of unlikely. Could it be that someone saw two they were lost? Hey, John. Show me some of that ancient fighting shit, man. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Show me how to do that. You know, like the way you kick that guy. Show me how to do that. Oh, well, I don't even know what I know. Get out of here. It's like riding a bicycle, they say. You never forget. Just get up and show me. Come here. Oh, for heavens sakes, don't be so damn serious. Do the damn thing, man. Come on, get up. John, show me. Look at just, uh, Just a kick or uh, just one of them kind of punches thing. John. Come on. Can't remember, huh? Come on. Show me that, huh? Come Can't take it? Oh, oh shit! Why don't you do that for, man? Stop it, Elmo. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just playing around. What a putz. Elmo, you're bleeding. Let me look. It's just a scratch. Ow! I'm gonna put some disinfectant. Just Quit a... your warning. You wanna act like a five year old and don't complain when I treat you. Ow! Oh. Yeah. I'm not cleaning up this mess. Mm -mm. Hey, Mo. What? He just went to the men's bathroom. I'm going to go get him. I know you. You're that pig that messed up my parole. Ex-pig, actually. Wait a second. I remember you. You're that sick fucking hump that beat up the little girl, aren't you? That slut was my sister. It was none of your fucking business. Well, actually, it was my fucking... I just want the stick back. Stick? Yeah, it's my cue. You've been using my cue. Hey, it's a nice stick. Thanks. Yeah, I guess. Never did that for me. Mr. Milan ain't gonna like you busting one of his family like that. Well, ain't that a bitch, huh? You make sure you tell him I'm smiling, huh? You could have given me just a little bit of help in there, you know that? But you didn't help me yesterday. Mr. Milan? 
The skip trick said by the name of Freach, and some black guy just busted Sam for the bounty. It's pretty embarrassing stuff. My nephew is a constant source of humiliation. Well, the word is, they told him who Sam was, and he just told him to tell you that he was smiling. Really? Yeah. I'd like someone made an example of. No, 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 no. Nothing too dramatic, just his arms and legs. His teeth also. It seems he has a smiling problem. You must be Elmo Freach. Howdy. Vincent Milan is very concerned about your dental hygiene. You see, teeth can be a terrible source of disease and infection. So he asked us to come down here and remove yours. My teeth? I'm going to take a gun now. So I want you to stand nice and still and quiet. Because if you move, my partner here is going to shoot you. Your mama must have screamed when she had you, huh? <laughs> I hate it when people don't make appointments. I got a license for my piece, huh? So am I finished with you, gentlemen? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Keep your head up out there, huh? So much for staying at my place. So where are we going now? Outside of town. A buddy of mine, Julian Donovan. He owes me. First, let's go by my apartment. I gotta pick up a few things. Milan, we have a slight problem. Your presence here would indicate that. One of our men became aware of this operation. We were careless in his removal. He has resurfaced. Why wasn't I told? We prefer to handle this within the community. And I'll tell you why. You recently sent a couple of your clowns after a man named Elmo Freach. Your man is Freach? No. Our man is being harbored by Freach. The black guy that I've heard too much about. He has amnesia. He's of no immediate threat to us. I want you to stand down the attack on Freach. Let us handle this properly. Okay. I'll stand down. Bob, I really love the way you guys talk. This sucks. This really sucks. Can we talk about this? John, give me the gun. Open, say ah. Uh. Open. Who are you? Did Milan send you? Tell Milano I'm still smiling. You 
You know that guy sure didn't fight like one of Milan's mopes. I don't know. You think it was one of his at the hospital? If it was one of Milan's, I would have found out for sure. We better start doing a little digging. We might as well start with Milan. Let's go to my friend's house. Maybe we can sort this thing up. Hey, thanks for putting this up. Son of a bitch is always taking advantage of me. Yo, Julie, hold it. Hey, all you got here is rice cakes and light beer, man. I'm watching what I eat. Huh, yeah. Listen, give me the keys to the stealth. I'll go get us some real groceries. I'm out of gas. Fucking guy never changes. <laughs> Thanks. 355 Camino Drive. It's the only house for about a half a mile. So, how do you know Elmo? Actually, he saved my life. Nah, it didn't happen. Unless there's something in it for him. What's in it for him? I don't know. Nah, it doesn't matter. Peaceful here, isn't it? Alpha team in position. I have the house in sight. Proceed. Roger. Two targets, second level. How do you know Elmo? When he was on the job, I used to help him out with info on the streets. I used to run numbers and odd jobs like that. You land in a place like this running numbers? Well, no. Uh, Elmo sort of set me up with the Policeman's Union Pension Fund guys, and uh, I'm sort of a big shot accountant over there now. So what's in it for Elmo? Silver is down. Roger. Confirm the kill. We're moving in. Louis, go get the van. You two check downstairs. Phony wound. You like it? Yours is gonna be even better. <laughs> Can we deal? I mean, it's nothing personal, it's just a job to me. You put out the contract. <sighs> Came from Washington. The guy upstairs is running the show. We're supposed to bring your body back, you know, to prove that we got you. I know where. Can we deal? We can deal. Yes, sir. It's Frankler. I'm afraid that that package was not delivered. One of the delivery men said he dropped it off personally, but no one has seen it since.
Guys, I am really tired. One of you's gonna have to watch. Ta-da! Land's phone records. Huh. Unbelievable. I could live for a year in what this guy spends in a month on his phone bill. How'd you get those from the phone company? I got a friend that works at the post office. Jerk! Short-stopping the mail is a felony. Well, I got the records, didn't I? Thank you. You find anything? No, nothing. Here, see if you can figure out who these numbers belong to. We'll switch off on who calls them. When you start, okay? Figures. And I've got... 12, 13, 14 calls to Loomis Army Ammunition Depot. I've got some of those, too. Let me take a look at that. i got a bunch of those as well. Why would he be calling the old Army base? What number did he call before and after? New York, Detroit, L.A., Miami, shipping companies. New York, Detroit, Miami, L.A.? Huh? And I got a D.C. number before most of the Army base calls. 555-0000. Uh-huh. Me too. Let me see that. That wasn't on my list. What'd you get when you called? Nothing. One ring and a beep like an answer machine. Same thing. I know that number. What is it? I don't know, but I know it. Let's go by Milan's warehouse in the desert. Then let's go by that army base and just see what the hell's going on. This check bounces. I'm coming after your blood. It's good, don't worry. How the hell do you think they found us at Julian's house? I would have noticed a tail. Phone tap, maybe? Nah. I called him from a busted payphone by my apartment. Maybe they wired your car when they were watching you. They're heading northeast. Idlewild, Palm Springs. What are you gonna do now? Wait a second, you watch. We got him. Should be right up here. Shit, shit, shit. Hey! CIA! Where's the guy that's driving this car? I dropped him and the other fella at the bus. Was he black? Sure was. Was they bandits? Bandits? CIA? CIA fucking A. And he's got a warehouse down in Coachella. There's a lot of shipping down there. So how you holding up? Okay. Any more dreams? Yeah, and I'm remembering things. Like what? The day I was shot. It wasn't just a dream. No shit? No shit. And that telephone number, Washington? Yeah. It's an intelligence switchboard. What else do you remember, man? Eh? Quit some of my cold name. Terrific. <laughs> Boy, did I ever fuck up getting in the soup with you. Yeah, you probably did. I was just kidding you, Jays. I'm not. Probably will too. Listen, you go around the back, I'll sneak around the front, catch you back here in a half hour, okay, John? John. Would you come?
come from? I'm not gonna tell you once, put it away. <laughs> Mr. Milan, two guys just broke in. Get him. Bring him here. We're trying. Yes, what can I do for you? I blanketed police agencies and hospitals for John Doe's on the off chance of... I understand. What did you find? Los Angeles County. Black John Doe, found by the roadside, beaten. His talk screen showed traces of lysergic acid, dithylamide, midazolam hydrochloride, and sodium pentothal. And according to the chart, he's got amnesia. Anything else? I spoke to the attending physician. He told me there was an attempt on John Doe's life, and then he disappeared. Same thing he told our other agent. About 60 hours ago. Do you remember the other agent's name? Yes, sir. Trankler. Is this the best you can do? That was pretty good. Fucking minds. <laughs> I think she likes you. Oh, you're nuts. So you like her? Mo! What? You like me? In your dreams. Hmm? Look at this. I'm listening to a guy that doesn't even know his own name. <laughs> My name is Jake Monk. What else do you remember? I'm starving. I'm gonna go get some tea. You guys hungry? Yeah. How about you, John? A Jake? No, thanks. Listen, I'm gonna leave the keys here. 
You take my car if you change your mind, all right? Pizza. Chinese. There's a plane waiting to take you to L.A. I want you to find Quicksilver and make it safe for him to come in. Mr. Yes, Briggers, yes. you have a priority call. Thank you. I don't want Trankler to have the slightest clue as to what we know. Yes, sir. Army Depot, CIA. to be the last shipment, at least for some time to come. What? Why are you telling me this now? Things are going well. We're all making money. You think things are going well? I'd like to point out your elite team of specialists has been neither elite nor special when it comes to solving your little problem. My problem? I don't like this. Milan's men can't be trusted. Hey, we follow orders. I put him in one of the buildings. I should have never let him have my car. Where do you suppose he went? He went to the army depot. Guess you're going after him, aren't you? Hell yes. You think I trust him with my car? Huh. Be careful. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, whatever. This is getting kind of boring. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Shut up, or I'll plug you right now. No, you won't. You know you gotta keep me alive so the big dog can see me die personally. Right? Watch it. I'm gonna check the perimeter. I traced Quicksilver through a number of police-related incidents. He's joined with a man named Freach. I checked his phone records and forwarded all this to Weldon, who is now airborne. Thank you. I need a plane waiting to take me to L.A. and get the Secretary of State on the line. You mind if I stand up? Yeah, I do. Hey, shit for brain. What did I say?
All right, go get those trucks loaded and get the down payment. Get the suitcases. I'm going to want to speak to your main guy about this. You'll be speaking with him tonight. Drug money. Come on, let's get rid of the cases. Then what are we gonna do? We're gonna cause a little pain. You mean we're gonna kick somebody in the ass? Just until the cavalry arrives. Huh? I made a call. It's gone. They're gone. Quick. All right, fan out. Okay, two on, men, one black, yeah. one white. Let's hit and move. They're coming for gunshots. Shoot, get into another position. John, Jake, whatever. It's been nice knowing you. Great attitude, Elmo. We don't find that money. We have a large problem. Yeah, it appears we do. Most of the perimeter is covered. Now find them. Maybe we should leave this to my guys. Shut up. Building. I want the perimeter blanketed, and I want these fucks found. I think it would be wise to move these trucks out of here right now. Nothing goes out until I get the money. The money can wait. We gotta move. We're gonna have our own men shooting at each other, for Christ's sakes. Nothing. I repeat, nothing goes out of here until I get my money! Dennis!
You got about two breaths to tell me what's going on here. All right. All right. Who are you working with? Milan. How? We're bringing the drugs in on secured flights, military transports, diplomatic pouches. You mean you don't remember having your teens off their balls in France? My team? You mean I'm CIA? Oh, fuck. You mean you don't know? I do now. I want these guys found. I want them found now. Go ahead, go get them. <laughs> <laughs> You out of shape. Can't give up unless you use a shotgun. That wasn't Bob here that shot you up. That was me. You're incredibly resilient. And very, very lucky. Robert, where's our money? Milan is having some difficulty finding it. I imagine it has something to do with Jake's partner. I can't find Breach. Milan just took off in one of the vans. Does he have the money? No, no, sir. There was 3,500 pounds of cocaine in that van. I want to know where your friend and my money is. Now, if you're straight with me, I promise it'll be quick and painless when I kill you. But if you fuck with me... Hey, look! I've seen you work. The last time you tried quick and painless on me, it took me two years to learn how to stand up. So fuck that. I think you're fucked here, Jake. Okay, I'll give you some time to think about it. DCOM 1, we're on your wing, moving to 0230. Roger, DCOM 2. Drop your weapon. The compound is surrounded. Drop your weapons, I repeat. Drop your weapons. Explain it to them. gonna look lousy on your resume.
go free. Whoa. You don't mind if we head back, do you? Uh, relax there. So relax. We better chop you to the hospital, huh? Yeah, let's do that. You okay? You gonna make it? Yeah, I'll make it. No, no! Leave my partner! Hey, son of a bitch. Jake, come on, whatever. Oh, shit, man. You've been shot. You all right? Helmo Fritch, I want you to meet the director of the CIA. Winston Briggers. Get the fuck out of here, man. No shit. Damn glad to meet you, mister. Yeah, well, nice to meet you too, but don't you think we ought to get him to the hospital before he bleeds to death? Yeah. Hey, Chief. Elmo sort of saw me through this one. You think we can compensate him in any way? Great. Like what? Be sizable and tax-free. How's that? Okay. Good. Listen, why don't you wait over there by the car? Somebody will come over and debrief you, and then transportation will take you any place you want to go. Well, you don't suppose I could just ride with you guys, do you? Well, Jake's a shits at hospitals, and... Uh, and uh, come on! You, well, I could help you out this way. Guys, I know the guys at the hospital.